Okay, in this demo we're going to show you how we believe Outlook uh, Stroke Hotmail has pretty much made itself useless. Um, they've, they've done some things to try and combat spam, um, but in the process um, they've pretty, made, pretty much made their, their service useless, uh, especially from a business perspective. Um, but what we're going to show you, uh, I'm going to quickly just show you the, the problems that, uh, that it has. Um, we're going to create a new email on Outlook. Uh, we'll send this to ourselves. Lots of tests. Uh, this is an email from Outlook. I'm going to send this email. That's been sent. And if I just send and receive in our mail program, you'll see our email has popped in. If I reply, send that. That has sent. If I go back to my Outlook, there we go. We have received the email. That's great, that works. Now look what happens here. I'm going to create a new email. I'm going to uh, send this to our, uh, our Outlook. From Mail. This is a test. And we'll send this. That has sent. If I go back to our inbox, nothing has come in. If I send and receive on my mail program, we don't even receive any bounce backs. This is a problem, one of the major problems with Outlook. Unless it's an email that has been sent from Outlook to an individual and that individual replies from that email, it will not get through to Outlook. So think about this being from a business perspective. If someone's on your website, fills in a contact form, sends it to you, and you try and reply to that person, they will not receive the email. Now, some people may out there may be thinking, well, maybe your server has been blocked or maybe there's a, a, another reason for it. Well, let me just uh, show you here. There's a couple of things you need to do with uh, Outlook um, uh, just to help with spam filtering, etc. On domains, you need to have your email set up with the correct text uh, records. If you go into our records, we have uh, SPFs. Uh, on, on our domains, or on our domain, you even have domain keys again, which will help towards spam. So, all the, the necessary things are in place, and we even have our server, which has a score of 97 using senderscore.org, which is a, a really good mark, which means it's safe, it's in the green, and uh, it's not considered to be spam in any way. If we also go to and it's using a tool, something like uh, MX Toolbox. You check for blacklists, type in an IP, check. We do not appear on any blacklists whatsoever. So we know that that part of it's safe. We've got the right text to records in place, we're not blacklisted, and our sender score is good. So how do you get around it? The only way it seems to get around uh, Outlook accepting your emails is to go into the options, go to your safe and block senders list, click on safe senders, and then add the uh, email addresses that you would love, like to be able to receive emails from. So in our case, we'll add another one. Now been added to the list. If I go back to our inbox, if I go back to our mail program and actually send another email now to that Outlook address, one more time, again, we'll send that. Back to our inbox, the email has been received. So unless a user on Outlook 
stroke hotmail add you to their senders list block. They may likely not receive your emails. And we've seen this happening to a lot of people with, uh, who have been on our servers or who are not on our servers. Um, and again, this makes it completely useless from a business perspective. People sign up on a web form, they can't, and you re reply back, they will not receive the reply. So whether you're in business or whether you're using Outlook, it's pretty much made itself useless. And I would consider moving to another service.